Next thing was, do I go back to practice or do I carry on with this? All right, practice, you could make money, but here it is, uh, it is uh, almost like a charity work. So I decided that I will uh, advance investor education because during the nine months, I asked people, why did you invest in Malaysia? They didn't know why. This is, Remizio told me and I invested. They don't know that they're investing in a company. If you're investing in a company which is a stock, listed in the stock market. You need to know who is running, what is the business, whether it's profitable, what are the risks involved in that before. So if you're gambling, you would not ask this question, you just put in and hope it'll go up, just like a horse race. But if you're an investor, then you must invest with knowledge. So we said investing without knowledge is a gamble. And we started going north, south, east, west of Singapore, teaching people in community centers financial planning. When you earn your income, you must know how to save regularly and you must know how to invest that saving to multiply it for your retirement. Second thing we did was to check companies on their governance. All of us put money in a company, but we very rarely ask who is running it. What is the reputation of the people who are sitting on the board and the senior managers? All right, what is their knowledge of the business? Are they genuine businessmen or are they just doing it to make money? So we teach people how to analyze companies, how to understand annual reports. Unfortunately, I don't see uh, many Indians uh, joining us in this journey. Um, my hope is that you know we can also help the Indian community because uh, all of us are in this earning an income and all of us have to retire, all of us have to look after ourselves. So it is good if the Indian community can also participate in investment seminars. I was involved in community work in Sambawang, uh, I was involved in society work, in clubs and associations, helping people. Uh, working as uh, in the judiciary, in the junior judiciary, in the subordinate courts, and as a lawyer, helping people not just for as a lawyer for fees, but sometimes helping people to get through their problems, counselling, all right, guiding them, uh, helping them, whatever problems they had. Uh, very often, people will come to see me saying that they can't pay fees, but they have a genuine problem with the child. We must never say no to anyone who comes to you for help. I think that's the basic. Whether there's money or not, you must help.